how to install WordPress on Windows 10 computer using XM server. Hello, my name is Amul and you are watching TapTube. If you haven't subscribed yet for my channel, please subscribe right now. So I'm going to use XM server on Windows 10 computer and install WordPress, which is 4.8.1. You need this XM server installed and I assume that you already have. If you haven't, please go to apachefrench.org or you can google xm download very simple make sure you're on the google not any other search engine uh, otherwise i'm not sure if you'll get apachefrench.org website so go to apachefrench.org let me show you so here it is uh, basically the apache friend apache friends dot org and then here you simply download this okay so this is cross-platform software that can be installed on windows computer linux and mac os x as well and so simply download it and install it and make sure your server are running perfectly fine so let me go ahead and show you how you can run them so once it's installed you go to start menu and look for xm you can simply search for xm okay just type xm and you'll get it on the very top so once your xm server is installed open the control panel this is control panel xm control panel and make sure you are running apache so it's in green that means it's running then you click on start for sql as well and both are in green now you can close this okay so you can key you can see they're running in the background so leave that now uh now we need wordpress the cms the whole package so to get it you simply go to wordpress.org which is here wordpress.org you can see it here wordpress.org once it installed so once you are there click on download wordpress okay and then you've got two options you can go to download zip file or the gzip file okay so i'm going to download gzip file you can download any of these basically you just click on it and then i want to save it so I'm going to save it and it's installed. Sorry, download it. Open the folder and here it is. So right click on it and extract it to same folder. Okay, if you do not have WinRAR, you can use any similar software. These softwares are freely available. Okay, it's going to take just a few seconds. Okay, so once you have it downloaded and extracted, you will need database name database uh, password basically a username and a password so i will go ahead and show you how you can create a database on php my admin that's a very good user friendly environment for mysql so you can see it's been downloaded now you want to go to my pc this pc okay Open the Internet Explorer, Windows Explorer, go to C drive, open it, and then you look for XM. In the XM, you go to htdocs. Here you create a folder, uh, create a folder here, and name whatever you want, okay? So I'm going to name it WP, and then open this WordPress 4.8.1, release so you've got two options you can drag this folder here directly or just open it copy everything okay and then go to this folder that we just created open this one and paste over here and that's all you have to do you can close these folders now okay now we will go ahead and check it so you can simply go ahead and go to localhost slash wp the folder name whatever the name you've given so i'll give it wp i'm going to press enter now and it's going to take just a few seconds and you will see the installation 
page. So this is basically WordPress installation page here. You select your language of your choice and then click on continue. Now it says you need a database name, username for the database and a database password, database host URL, okay. And then the table prefix if you really want to change it. So to create a database, we can use localhost php my admin so php my admin press enter and here it is p localhost php my admin once you are there you simply have to create a database very simple so go to database click on it or you can click here you will be on the same page you can click on new or on database type the name of the database that you want to create so WPDP that's a good name and that's been created so this is your database it's come it's empty right now so let's go ahead and close it and that's all you need you already have a default user that's a root and this is your local host uh, you have all the privileges and there is no password okay so or you can create a user new user give all the privileges and a password as well so now you can say let's go and then database name was wp db username is root password no password localhost is fine wp if you want to change it you can then click submit run the install close the phtm admin site ready wordpress ready wordpress the username is going to be admin i'm perfectly fine with that password is admin that's fine email is going to be admin at admin.com you can do you don't need for the local host installation and then this is optional uh, if you're installing on cpanel or on your domain then you can check this box because it takes few days to make changes on your website so then you click install wordpress and this is going to take just few seconds i think almost done okay so here we go it says wordpress has been installed so this is how you install wordpress on windows 10 computer now you have to log in just enter the username and the password and this is your dashboard area in the dashboard area you can make all the changes you want it's taking longer and to get on this site the front page you click here open in, in a next uh, in a new window so this is 2017 theme which comes pre-installed with wordpress you can change the themes go to appearance and themes and change whatever you want 2017 activate it and you will see once you refresh it you'll see a change so this is how you install wordpress on your windows 10 computer using xmp and this is how you change themes on wordpress from the dashboard area so thank you so much for watching this video please like share and subscribe for my channel if you have any comment please leave comment in the uh, comment area and if you have any suggestion leave your suggestion as well thank you so much and have a good day bye for now